Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to be looking at level of detail in Godot, or LOD for short. So basically, LOD is the system that allows us to change the resolution of a mesh uh, depending on how close it is to the camera. So as an example, this is a sort of stylized look at what um, this system does. Pretty much you have a 3D model and what Godot does and what pretty much every other game engine does is the further away that 3D model is from the camera, the lower resolution or the less amount of polygons that model is going to have. Now there is one very good reason for this and that is we do not need to have a model at its full poly resolution everywhere in the world, okay? If, for example, we have a sword like this laying on the ground, when the player is up close, you know, we'd want to see all the curves and the sharp edges, but if the player is, let's just say, you know, 50 meters away, that sword is only going to be a few pixels on screen. So if we are taking the time, the processing time, the rendering time to uh, render such a high resolution sword to our screen, that is just wasted computing that we could better use other places. So what we can do is we can lower the resolution, okay, we can decimate the model, removing polygons, making it look more simplistic, the further away from the camera it is. And if you do this right, then the player should not even notice a difference whatsoever, okay? So how can we do this in Godot? Well, Godot is very handy in this way, um, because pretty much this is something that automatically happens. So what we're going to do is we are just going to import a model. So I have a statue model right here. And what we then want to do is pretty much just move the camera away. And as you can see, as I move the camera away, well, nothing really happens. It just looks like the camera is moving away from the model. And that is exactly the effect we want. Um, so yeah, this is set up by default. And what we can do to further test this out is by making the LOD bias a bit smaller. Because right now, it only starts to decimate the model, meaning reduce the polygon count, when we get to a pretty far distance. So for testing purposes, we can set it up so that it will decimate a lot earlier on, so we can actually see that process happening. So what we're going to do is, since I am using a GLB model, I'm going to right-click on it here in the scene dock, and I'm going to go down to where it says Editable Children. So now we can access the mesh instance 3D of that. And then over in the inspector, what we're going to do is we are going to go down to where we have geometry. Now in geometry, you'll see we have this property down here called LOD bias. And pretty much what this does is, as it says, it changes how quickly the mesh transitions to a lower level of detail, okay? So what we can do is bring this one down to maybe a 0 0.1. And now you can notice that if I move the camera back, uh, might be a bit hard to see on the video, but there is um, a little glitch happening on our statue. And that's just because the LOD is being um, reduced this close. So if we bring that down even lower, maybe 0 0.01, you can see here, okay, our model looks very different. Um, it looks a lot more simplistic. A lot of the polygons have been removed, but its general shape still holds. And if I go closer, you can see bit by bit, it is coming back together. So we have the full model here. We have sort of a mid midway LOD, and then we have a much less detailed LOD here. And that is pretty much the basics of level of detail, okay? It is reducing the polygon count of a model the further away the camera is. Now, typically, you wouldn't have your LOD bias this low, as you probably don't want the model to be jumping in and out of different states this close um, to the camera, okay? So we'd probably bump that up. And another way of previewing this to actually see these... Um, to actually see these polygons appearing and disappearing is by changing our perspective. So at the top here, we can click on perspective and then go down to where it says display wireframe. And this is gonna display the wireframe version of the mesh. So if I get closer, you can see more, wire fr more wires are gonna appear, meaning more faces, more polygons. And if I go back, it reduces, keep going back and it will reduce even more. So that is a quick overview of LOD inside of Godot. I'm going to bring the LOD bias back up to one, or if you want, you can shrink this down a little bit. Um, this is really just going to be up to you and up to how big your model is, how important it is in the scene to determine um, what you want the LOD bias to be, okay? If it is something that's very small, you can probably bring it down a little bit, whereas if it's something pretty big, you probably might want to adjust the LOD bias a bit because if you're far away, you know, you might see some glitching out. So pretty much case by case basis for each of your mesh instances. Do keep an eye on this as well. Um, and hopefully that will be one more thing to help you out with performance in Godot.